Great, so begin by establishing a comfortable posture. Maybe it's sitting down in a cushion or in a chair. Maybe it's lying down. Really establish yourself in this posture and get comfortable. Notice if there's any tension in your body, any muscular tension in the body, maybe in the jaw, the face, shoulders, the arms, the legs. If you notice any muscular tension, see if you can invite it to relax. The muscles may or may not be willing to relax at this time. You can just invite them to. See if you can allow relaxation. And from here, bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Doesn't have to be enormous. Don't have to strain. Just bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just by inviting a smile, your body allows chemicals to be released in your brain and your nervous system that will gradually bring you towards a happier state of mind. Just invite that by bringing a gentle, easy smile to your face. In this way, we're preparing the body for metta practice, allowing the body to be comfortable and relaxed, and inviting a gentle, easy smile to the face. Now we'll begin to prepare the mind for metta practice. Take a few moments to reflect on aspects of your life that you're grateful for. Food to eat. Your living situation, perhaps your job or friends or family people that have helped you in your life, things that bring you joy. It could be anything at all. Consider and reflect on things that you're grateful for.
You're reflecting on this intellectually with your mind. But this may have an impact on your body, on your emotional body. Maybe it makes your smile grow or brings a sense of warmth or joy to your heart. If there's any response or resonance in the emotional body, notice and enjoy that. And having reflected on things that you're grateful for in your life, bring to mind someone in your life that's easy for you to feel love towards. One who you feel a tremendous amount of love for. Ideally, who it's easy for you to feel this love for. It's not complicated perhaps a small child or a pet. Or a family member that you love dearly. And if for any reason that's hard, you can always use someone that's imaginary. Perhaps a imaginary baby or a puppy or a kitty or a panda bear, doesn't really matter so much who you choose. Pick a person or animal, real or imaginary, that is easy to feel love for. See if you can direct love towards this person. To begin, you could use a phrase like, may you be happy, or I love you. Hold the intention that this person or animal be happy. And use mental talk, phrases, to direct that love towards this person or animal.
you can say the same phrase in your mind repeatedly every few seconds. I love you. I love you. I love you. Can be any phrase that you like and any rhythm that you like, but use mental talk to direct love and friendliness towards this person or animal that you've chosen. Continue to intend love and friendliness towards this person or animal that you've selected. But make a slight alteration. See if you can find a different phrase than the one you've been using that resonates for you. Something different. One that I've been trying out recently is, I want you to be so happy. So you could try that if you like, or you could make a different one up. Try a new phrase, a different phrase and see how that feels. See if it feels stronger in love and care, or less intense, or just the same. Again, say the phrase every few seconds at a rhythm that works for you. And notice what the effect on your emotional body is. If you find that the phrase is having the same impact on you or a weaker impact, try a new phrase, try something totally different. Use your creativity to find a different phrase. If on the other hand, the phrase that you've tried on is working well for you, has a strong response in the emotional body, then feel free to stay with it 
or try something new if you like to see if you can find something with an even larger emotional impact on your body. In any case, steer towards the largest possible impact on your emotional body. How much joy can you possibly feel? How much love, care, and happiness can you generate through the phrases that you use in your mind? phrase like I love you or may you be happy. It's tried and true. It works. But maybe there's a phrase that works even better for you. Use your creativity to explore and discover a phrase or phrases it really works for you. You may find it useful to stay with the same person or animal this whole time. But you're also welcome to change who you're directing this metta, this loving kindness towards. Again, it doesn't matter so much. The main thing we're exploring tonight is playing with different phrases, being creative about which phrases we use and steering towards the largest possible impact on our emotional body. How much happiness can we possibly feel? there is any sense of joy or happiness or love or friendliness in the emotional body, perhaps around your mouth, around the smile, or around your heart center, or somewhere else in your body. Notice that and really enjoy it. Really soak it up.
It's as if the phrases are the mallet. You're hitting a bell and seeing how loud can you possibly make the bell? In this case, your emotional body, the response in your emotional body. What phrase will have the strongest impact on your emotional body? Be creative, be playful. Explore and discover. Continue to explore, trying new phrases and enjoying the impact on your body for another few moments.
Very good. Now take a moment to look back on the session. Reflect intellectually and consider what was your experience like? What happened exactly? What did you notice about your experience during this practice period? Did anything surprise you? Is anything challenging? Reflect and consider. 